Welcome to one of my favorite topics of discussion, the camera bag. I am a bag fiend. I love having a nice, nice camera bag. And throughout my years of experience in photography, I found a bag that I absolutely love. It's like all around, I feel all around the best bag that you can purchase if you are a photographer or a videographer. I travel a lot. I'm constantly flying between Toronto and Chicago. I need a bag that's gonna allow me to bring my gear with me, that's like easily accessible, um, has lots of pockets, I can put a laptop in, um, and something that I can carry on a plane with me, like no questions asked. This is the Eve Case uh, camera bag. I got it on Amazon. I don't know if it's like, Eve case or Eva Eva case. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'll put the link in the description to where you can buy it on Amazon. This bag is amazing. I absolutely love it. Um, I started off getting a slightly smaller bag, um, and then when I saw this one, it was a lot larger, um, and it pretty much checked all the boxes for me. So you got your main compartment right here, like pretty much what you would what you would expect in uh, pretty much any camera bag is you have your main compartment you can these are all velcroed in so you can like rip them apart um, put them in and out and uh, yeah it zips all the way around here there's also a I mean it kind of has this flap here so um, I guess the whole point is if you have anything that you want to kind of take out of right here I don't know if that's you can see that on the camera but it's got this neat little like kind of weird flap design that kind of folds back here, protects your camera. You can also fold it back, grab your camera without unzipping the entire thing. So I use this quite a lot. Um, it's really useful to me. Um, on the inside here you have, uh, I got my batteries and stuff still in here. You got uh, a pocket on the inside here if you have some valuables and whatnot that you want to have on an inside pocket. It's got an inside pocket there. Um, and this is the great thing that I love also about this bag is so this is the top half and then this right here is the bottom half of the bag so oh this is kind of so it's got this little like bottom half part here i took the uh, i took the dividers out already but i mean you can add dividers into the center here Let's just see so this one here and this one here you know so you got like this bottom thing with a cover here and the amazing thing about this is you got handles here as you could probably tell and this just comes right out of the bag just like that so um yeah this is like great for running and gunning if you put like a small kit in here um like if you're a photographer or you know you have a camera with a flash and a few batteries in here and you gotta quickly just like you know run and shoot something or grab something quickly um this is really awesome to have i really like this so this thing i i absolutely love that it's it's in the bottom here the other thing you can do they don't really specify this on like any anywhere you read or where you buy the bag is you can take this top flap because this gets kind of annoying just being in the way here you can take the top flap and you can just kind of fold it into the back here and uh, it kind of acts like a cushion on the bottom here. If you have anything of value in here, um, you can just fold it right back and get it fully out of the way. So when you unzip it, it's just like another compartment in your bag. You can't really tell that it kind of comes out or anything at first glance anyway. Um, and the great thing about it also is since it comes out, you can just fully take it out um, and it gives you a little more room in the bottom here. Um, I have personally, um, with, I mean, even even with this in, um, I was able to like put a lot of my gear in the top part of the bag. And then I actually easily, very easily, as you can tell, I fit a drone um, in the bottom here. I actually had it in with this and I was able to like to stick my Mavic Air drone like with the carrying bag that it comes with into the bottom part. But as you can see, there's like a, a ton of space on the bottom here. This is, this is a Godox speed light or pretty much if you have a Canon speed light, it's about the same size and this is inside the bag. Um, and this is like the top half. So you can easily fit like a lot of stuff in this bag. It's 
pretty, pretty roomy. I don't know if you can tell on the video there, but there's a zipper. Maybe I'll shift the bag around here. There's a zipper right here. So you can actually unzip. Let's see if I can grab it here. You can actually unzip this fully out and extend this bag fully all the way to the bottom so it's not like a divided compartment. You can have it fully open all the way down. So, so you have a set of one, two, three outside pockets here. I don't think there's any more. I don't think I've missed any. So you got a small pocket right here. You got a slightly bigger pocket um, right beside it. You got a lot of like a few slots to put some things in, some pen slots and whatnot. And then you have a uh, top pocket up here that you can also put anything in. I have my passport and whatnot in there right now. Um, so these are all outside pockets. They don't access the inside of the bag um, anywhere. Um, so these are, these are really great. I love putting like batteries, uh, memory cards. Um, I usually put my headphones in the top pocket so I can easily access, access them when I'm flying. The other thing that this bag comes with is the laptop slot right here. So I had it unzipped. So it's a side zipping slot and you can slide a, uh, you can slide up to about a 17 inch laptop into here. I have a Dell XPS. Uh, it's a 17 inch laptop and it fits in here very snugly. If you have anything that's bigger than that, you're gonna have a hard time fitting it in. But I mean, considering like, you know, most people I think max out at around a 17 inch laptop anyway. So I tend to, I mean, these straps are okay. I personally would have liked if they had these uh, clip straps. These are like safety straps so your bag doesn't get stolen. But honestly, what I do is I typically just um, put my gimbal into here and strap it to the side of the bag using this clip and I slot it right into the cup holder right here. Um, it's obviously not designed that way, but yo, if it works, it works. So anyone who like, you know, shoots professionally or shoots weddings, who travels quite a bit, you know that you never want to check your camera gear. You just don't want it rattling around, being thrown around. And these days, a lot of the time, like if you do have a carry on bag, some flights you take, they might be like, oh, we don't have enough overhead space. Like you're gonna need to check your bag. What I like to do is I like to have my carry on with my clothes in it. And then I carry all of my camera gear if I can. Um, save like lights and batteries and stuff in my uh, backpack. So I carry this on as my quote unquote personal bag. And um, when I had this bag fully loaded and fully packed with camera gear, um, it is bigger than the actual allowed carry on bag um, that you're allowed to like roll around and put overhead. And it's actually heavier than um, the allowance that you should be bringing onto an airplane. But the thing is when you have this on your back and you're traveling through an airport or walking through a gate and whatnot, um, because it is a backpack and it's not like the size of a hiking bag, it is a little larger, but it's not like huge, huge. You can typically get away. I mean, I've gotten away with it every time I've flown um, as being a personal bag. So it doesn't even count as your carry-on, which is amazing. I love this bag for that. It only goes for, I think, 80 to $90 on Amazon, which, I mean, it's amazing. Like I got two of them, right? Um, typically when you're dealing with like camera bags and whatnot, you could be spending like easily over a hundred for sure, like close to maybe the four or $500 range, depending on the bag that you get. Um, but for $80, this is a huge, huge, huge steal. Like I would, re I, I would recommend this bag to everybody. I know it's awesome. Um, give it a look. If you guys have this bag or you have a, another bag that you really love, let me know. Like, I'd love to hear about them. I'm a, I'm a bag fiend. It's what I do. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you watching this video. Uh, send me your comments and whatnot, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.